a special forces battalion on exercise in the Moldovan capital of Chisinau. These men have all received their training in the United States and now form the elite core of the country's armed forces. The rising tensions following Moscow's takeover of Crimea have stoked fears here that Russia will attempt to destabilize the country as it moves towards closer ties with the European Union. Uh, we are trained to execute uh, diverse type of missions. Of course, all of them are uh, special missions like direct action, special reconnaissance, combating terrorism. Up to now, the conscript army of Moldova has been used mainly for ceremonial purposes. But the special forces being trained in America will be more than a match for the Russian Spetsnaz. The Spetsnaz are Moscow's special forces, and it's feared here they are already based in Transnistria, which broke away from Moldova after a bitter civil war in 1992. More than 1,400 people died in the fighting, which was only brought to an end when Russian troops and tanks arrived in force to intervene. The conflict has been frozen ever since, but Ukraine has warned that attempts are being made to smuggle weapons and men into Transnistria. They're banning Russian passport holders from crossing the border. The issue was raised by Al Jazeera with the U.S. Assistant Secretary of State on her latest visit to Moldova. Near 200 have been uh, stopped and denied access. This reflects a concern on the Ukrainian side that there have been uh, young people moving across the border carrying weapons, attempting to smuggle with intentions to stir up trouble, to be provocateurs. Ukraine's border posts with Transnistria are now on full alert, but Moscow say that Kiev is imposing what amounts to an economic blockade of the breakaway region. David Chater, Al Jazeera, Moldova.